here's my new Eco Ecobee 3 thermostat I'm going to be installing. As you can see right here, I've already taken down my old thermostat. Just have it dangling still, and they've done a good number on my drywall, whoever installed it previously. So, as you can see, I have four wires connecting it, and right there you can see that the C wire is non-existent, so I will have to install a power extender kit at the at the unit, the like the heater um, unit. So I will show you how to do that. Okay, you'll want to make sure your power is off to the unit, the furnace. Mine's actually right around here, so I'll turn that off. And I also turned it off at the main uh, breaker. So this is my my furnace. Um, tear it apart, and we'll get into it. Okay, now that we're inside the the furnace here. You can see this is the these are the wires that are going up to my thermostat. You can see the the four wires, the blue, green, white, and red. But there are, all, are also two additional wires right here, uh, a red and a white one, and this white one is going to the C. This wire actually leads out to or these two wires lead out to my um, central air unit I just recently got installed about six seven months ago so I'm just going to use these wires and just basically mount them up as if they were you know these ones anyways and just kind of double install it right there all right so I went ahead and took these wires that go off to my thermostat off of the control board went ahead and wired it or labeled them as you can see uh, one thing to note is to be careful when you're pressing on these screws to take the take the wires out because if you can see this movement and it, and if you're it has nothing back here to support it so if you're pressing really hard on this you have a possibility of breaking this board off and then leading into more problems so just be careful with that I actually put my hand back here to support it and then press the screwdriver in there to loosen it and take everything out. But like I said, I'm going to take these ones, I took these ones off, but I'm going to leave these ones on because they actually run out to my the compressor for the central air. So I'll leave those and then I'll hook up this power extender kit. All right, here's the power extender kit. So yeah, it says, hi, I do not use this. If you have a C wire, since we don't have the C wire, obviously we have to use it. So what you do is you just pop the back part off, just you know, just put your fingernails in between here and pop it off. Just be careful. So, you see those four wires right there. That's where those four wires go. And then they connect into, they'll plug into here, which ends up leading out to these five wires that I will end up connecting right back onto here. And we should be good to go. Okay, so I got the other wires hooked up right here. Sorry if it's kind of a weird picture. I'm trying to work and show you guys. So I have the, you can see I have the R right here. And so I've got it on here too. So what you'll want to do is come in from right here and make sure you can kind of, you can kind of bend these wires a little bit. They're really easy to bend just so it can fit in here. And as you see, as I push in, this little notch is going to go down. So you want to be able to push it in enough and you kind of hear it snap and then you kind of just tug on it a little bit and you'll, you'll feel that there's the tension on there. So we'll go ahead and move that one over. And then we got the this G right here. Kind of same thing. Push it in, it kind of, you know, locks in there. Um, let's go with this Y. Two, two of these wires that are a little bit longer, so they might be a little bit of a pain, but if it works, it works. I'll just put it in like that. Get this W right here. Okay, so those are latched down. Um, like I said, just give a little tug and make sure they're actually in there like you want. 
So basically what you're going to do is just kind of bend it, bend all these wires down like that. And then the reason you put it in right there is because these um, knobs right here will make the connection. Um, and then you see, you just put it right back on. Make sure these line up and don't force it to, to close. And you just snap it closed like that, and you can see where the wires, you know, obviously they're supposed to come out like that. So you got everything all, got these all hooked up. Like I said, got all these um, connected on. And once again, for the air compressor, I didn't mess with it. I'll just leave it like the professionals did it. And then I'll just kind of tuck this away down in here so it doesn't get in the way. And should be good. All right, I was going to just put this unit on the like on the floor of this of my uh, heater or my furnace, but then I got looking at it. Um, I kind of the cords didn't stretch all the way down there. I don't like cords hanging and kind of putting pressure on each other. So I actually picked it up, um, pulled it apart real quick. As you can see, I. I'm using uh, one of the screws right there that comes um, in the kit. And what I did is I just kind of used the wall anchor right here. I don't like these for drywall anyway, so I was going to use a different type of drywall anchor. So I figured I'd just use this, kind of screw it in tight and have it mount right there where nothing's getting anyways, just a better, better setup. Okay, now I got this cover back on. I went ahead and snapped that on. As you can see, this drywall anchor is not expanded. I just used it to snug it up tight, and that way it's just going to hold this unit in place. I mean, it's it can move back and forth, which is okay. It's not going to hurt it any. So there it is, just kind of up and out of the way, secured how I like it, and put this cover back on the furnace, and we'll, we'll go upstairs. As you can see, I mounted this faceplate, and I just want to go over this. The R, if you have it like my setup, has to be has to go into the R C, and of course the G, the Y to the Y one, and then the W to the W one. So this is all secured on there. Now I can just it, attach that faceplate to it. Okay, so just make sure it's. Right, um, so this, the name was facing down. Just kind of get it and just snap it in. And then you go turn your power back on, it should be up and going. All right. See the B moving around as I flip the power on. Go on there. Yes. Do you have any of these accessories installed? Humidifier, dehumidifier, ventilator? No. Next. Do you prefer Fahrenheit or Celsius? We'll do Celsius or Fahrenheit. Okay, and you just kind of work through it, and then here you got to name your thermostat. Okay, then I just named mine the standard, my Kobe. So ideal temperature, I'll just put it 68. During the summer. Let's do that. Current mode would be heat since it is February. What is the current mode of your HVA system? Got that. I'm going to just disable this one because I live in a, with a couple different people, a couple different guys. I don't have an iOS device, so I will select network. There we are. I'll enter my password real quick. Okay. All right. OK. 
Okay, and just format it however you like. Oh, sorry for the blurriness on this. Okay, we're up and ready to go. There we go. Okay, now that I now that I have this all set up and ready to go, we'll get my sensor. And if you can see that it's still got the tab on it, you just pull the tab out while this is turned on. And it will sense that. And push yes for pairing it and then just choose a name for it I'll just go ahead and say upstairs for this one alright so there we go